right or wrong? Am I thinking that? Yeah, that definitely has <laughs> something to do with it. Obviously, I, I tested the waters this last spring and worked out for five teams. So, and the feedback I got was it was great feedback and those things that I needed to work on. I felt like coming here was the best place for me to showcase that and really work day in and day out on some of those things that I needed to work on, put myself in a better position for the draft. Next year. It feels like it started. It feels like it started back in March, where the rumors started around you maybe going to Kentucky. When did you know for sure that if you were going to play college basketball this season, it would be at UK? It wasn't that early. It, it took me a minute. I know there were rumors and stuff like that early on, but it took me until I knew that I wasn't going into the draft. My mindset was full on blown killing those workouts that I was in and getting the right feedback and hopefully getting a flyer from a team that wanted to draft me this past year. But when I kind of got the news that it was one foot in, one foot out, they were kind of looking at me as a guy probably undrafted. I knew that I could look at some other options with that fifth year, and that's kind of when I started to look at certain places, and that's when Kentucky kind of came to the forefront of my mind. Why did, did you, they did look you? at you as a guy that might not be drafted? Why? why? Uh, I mean, there's a there's a, a variety of reasons. I mean, skill set, I'm still working on my perimeter game, still working on my three-point shot, stretching it out a little more, still trying to get out and move a little better on the perimeter, defend a little better. So it's not to say that they said that I couldn't be in the league last no, year or yeah. couldn't find a way through the G League or whatever like that. For But for what I was going to do, the, the benefits of going back to college for one more year, just experiencing college basketball again and trying to put myself in a better position, outweigh just trying to jump into the NBA right away. Did you share with any of those NBA people like, hey, if I go back to school, it might be at a place like Kentucky. Did they give you any feedback in terms of like, yes, that would be a great place for you to, you know, to improve your chances in the NBA? No, I, I didn't really get into specifics with anybody when I was going through the draft process. Obviously, during that process, I was pretty vocal and, and honest with everybody that I was going to try and go if I, if I got the right yeah. feedback from certain teams that that was going to be my journey. So that wasn't a conversation I had till later on in the process where I ultimately decided I'd come back for a 50 Who was the biggest proponent to you that, like, hey, Kentucky is a spot if you want to make this dream come true? Um, I mean, my family, they did a good job. I mean, I was very busy, obviously, with the draft process, and I was still finishing out my degree, so I was, I was working a lot of hours during the day, so I didn't have a lot of time to go through the recruitment process or anything like that. So I really gave my family a lot of trust and, and kind of looking at schools that they thought would be a good fit for me, and that was one of the schools that, that came out. And then as I sat down and really thought about it, I knew that this would be the right spot. You could have been in the NBA and all-conference, and yet when you get here, Cal says, well, he needs to change his body if he's going to do what, what did he talk to you about that? What do you mean by that? Yeah, I mean, obviously, Cal watched a lot of film on me once, once I made the decision, and he said he wanted me to move better, wanted me to catch lobs, wanted me to be a guy that could switch out onto the point guard and guard him for a few slides, that could get up, block some shots. And those are things that I necessarily didn't do as much at Stanford. So it was, it was humbling. It's good for me. I mean, and that's one of the biggest reasons why I wanted to come here is I wanted him to be dead honest with me. If there's things that he thought that I could change to help me and be in a better position to help the team win and then ultimately help me be a better professional, that's what I was going to do. So it was great for him just to come out and tell me all these things I needed to work on. And that's ultimately why I came here to do that. How would you describe? Describe? This may be a loaded question, but what's the difference between being a student at Stanford and being a student at Kentucky? I really can't answer that yet. I haven't started my graduate classes until this fall, so I'm kind of just straight basketball right now. In the fall, I start some classes. And I'm sure I'll have a better answer. What about happens. just the culture of both universities and campuses and basketball programs? Yeah, obviously there's a difference, but I think there's there's good differences on both sides. Obviously, I love Stanford. That's that's ultimately the school I had I picked out of high school. I had a lot of different choices that I could have went to. And, that's the one that, that caught my eye, and, and I love my four years there. I loved all the people that I met there. So it was a tough transition coming out here just because of that. But as far as the point where I'm at in my life, chasing basketball and chasing my dream, it's definitely the right decision that I'm working back at. What was it about Stanford that caught your eye, as you say, coming out of high school? A big proponent was Mark Madsen. He's somebody that really recruited me hard as a sophomore. Had a lot of great talks with him. He went to Stanford, obviously. Right. Went to business school there. So just the model of being a Stanford man and the thing that comes with that and everything he said did come true. I mean, now looking back at it, now that I have my diploma, I have that degree, and I did play four years there, I definitely have that feeling that he was describing to me when I was a 16, 17-year-old. And what's your degree in? Science, technology, and society. Tell which tell graduate program are you enrolled in now? I'm in the sports and leadership program through kinesiology.
Cal said that, that you've really been a guy that talks a whole lot because you've been around basketball. How much does that help and uh, just, just you being out there talking, setting an example for those guys? It helps a lot. I mean, that's one of the biggest things that was my mindset is that playing and these different skill sets, those things are going to take care of themselves as the months roll on as we start playing more games. But me being vocal, me being a leader, especially just talking to these young guys, a lot of them are coming straight out of high school, have never had to do certain things on a ball screen or be in the help side or, or talk to your teammate. It's just a lot of one-on-one -on -one basketball. So for me, just kind of showing them exactly how you're supposed to talk, how do you play team defense. And I think that's the biggest transition from high school to college is how much vocal you really have to be, how much you have to talk and help your teammates. So every day I'm going to try and set that example. They can look towards me and kind of see exactly how we're supposed to play. What have your competitions with PJ been like in practice so far? And then how can you guys complement each other when you play together? They've been good. I mean, I'd say 75% of the time, Cal's matching us up opposite against each other, playing against each other. And, it's been very physical, very aggressive. We both kind of have a similar style in that way that we want to attack the paint, want to get old boards, and want to be physical down there. So it's been great for me. I mean, like I said, trying to find that competition, I usually wouldn't find here and there during the season. I may have three or four games where I match up against a guy like me physically that I feel like can compete. And now I'm getting it every day in practice. So it's been great doing that. And then when we do play on the same team, it's great just because we cut off of each other. We can both get the ball in the post. We can drag the defense in. So we really see that we can complement each other. And as we move on with more months of practice and stuff like that, I think it'll really be something special as we learn to play with Is there, each other. Do you, do you think kinship you're... with you and PJ? Because he also tested the waters and was going to stay if he got the news he wanted, and he didn't, so he came back. If you all relate to that and talk about that much. Yeah, we talked about it a little bit. We actually were in the, the Minnesota Timberwolves workout together, so we played against each other then. So exact same thing. We went through the same process, probably got some of the, the same feedback as far as you could come or you could go and, and things like that. So for, for both of us just going through this journey together and being able to compete every day, I think it's a, it's a blessing just being able to go against each other.